What drives us at Capital City Academy is a desire to make change. We're a new school, we're in our, in our fourth year now, and we're working really hard to establish a really positive identity for us, for our young people here, and within the local community. As is the case in many schools that serve local communities such as ours, there is massive diversity and ethnicity and we have a number of new arrivals. A lot of you see them struggle a lot. You know, you came to a larger school and then you have to reassert your, your cultural identity and, and your feelings and your friendships and that makes you start to question, I think, who you are as well as the way you act and behave at school. I'm Lucy. I'm Lucy. And I'm the director of this thing called Creative Partnerships and we've helped to organise this week of Dream School in your school with all of your teachers. This is a week where every single day you're going to be doing something different and hopefully some really exciting stuff. What's up people? What's up? We're from Creative Partnerships and Creative Partnerships has a big kind of vision. They want you to have fun and learn at the same time. How cool is that? The whole idea of Dream School was to construct a week of uh, lessons around a theme, creative lessons around a theme, and the theme was identity. And the idea was that everything we did would be about identity and would explore children's creativity. I don't want to hear anybody's names on any list going back to school. So the first thing is to call up the groups to go to their sessions. It was a really nice mix of creative things you could do with your body and creative things that you could do with your mind, and creative things that you could do in terms of making something. Just being able to work in a whole different way. It's really, really small. And the tie gets smaller and I was kind of dying. Today kind of... I've been working with Charlie Dark and we're doing a session called Poetic Science. And um, what I love about the session is that we get to look at genetics and the things that make us unique and we use poetry to express it. Yeah. What you're going to do today is a um, performance of Capoeira. Uh, basically, be like a set performance, theatre performance. And after that, we go to invite the children to take part of this workshop, and they go to try to do some movements of Capoeira. Basically, Capoeira is already have identity. The identity is come from um, Brazil, the Afro-Brazilian. The intention is to create something here to give opportunity to these children to find out how they can develop their own Capoeira with his own identity, and they can develop his own way to play Capoeira. That's one of the big things for inner city schools is attendance and punctuality. If students aren't in school, you can't teach them anything. Um, the idea that, that we can actually excite them about school, get them interested in school and get them into school is half the battle won. We have been making headdresses, teaching them carnival techniques and actually getting them to think how to make something three-dimensional from a flat shape. Through the, the choices that they make in their hats, the colours, the shapes, whether they chose flowers or butterflies or spiky things, that would have a sense of what their identity was. If you, if you wear it, it's like you're describing what you are like. Like so if you like make a scary mask, scary mask, people will think that you like scary things. A lot of our students struggle um, with their identities. Uh, we have a lot of behavioural issues and a lot of um, very low emotional literacy in Year Seven. A lot of the time. Um, it's actually their own self-esteem which has been damaged. There's so many children and adults in our world who struggle to find their place and struggle to feel like they're part of the whole world because their identity is insecure and they're unsure of who they are and, and how they fit into things. 
identity is about what is the meaning of my life and why should it be better? Why should I try to be better? So knowing my identity, that it's valuable, and even though right here somebody may not be valuing it, somebody did value it in the past and will value it in the future because of what I do today. <laughs> One of the most important ways that, that our workshop deals with identity is actually asking them for their opinions all the time. Today, the script was rewritten to have peer pressure and bullying into it. And so we dealt with a lot of issues about how your peers can change your identity, how they can change you and make you do things you wouldn't normally do. It's like hard trouble for you to pick a choice between doing it or not, and that's peer pressure. Students coming to school a lot of the time feel that they have to hide behind a kind of a mask of, um, of, of being too cool for school and we wanted to look at that with students as well and think about how you can, you can be very positive about yourself and about who you are without having to hide behind something else. Everyone is trying to tell you what to do so you can be all tough and protected when you don't need to. New School, we um, work with uh, music and poetry. OK, stop. So you can see there's quite a few mistakes in that part. So what do we want to do if we want to... What we do is we merge the two. So we have a, a poetry workshop and a music workshop. Keep a beat. If you go to Lawson, I can keep a beat. Look, it gets young people talking about themselves specifically. And in talking about themselves, what's important to them. What she do for you? It's just... Ooh, Some topics that have come up, things about fatherhood, about belonging, about friendship, and that's how they identify themselves in the community. Boom, right, so let's put that down here. When a person realises that they're important, in other words, who they are in this world, they can make a difference. And it's in making a difference that we make a better world, and that's what we want to achieve, not just in the social setting, but in, in, in a school setting or in a family setting. So tell me, be proud of the fact of your name is Jamal. Your name is the most important... We've got a lot of students who've got quite fractured identities in terms of a lot of dual heritage students, but then a lot of refugee students and asylum seeker students who perhaps aren't in touch with the background that they have or are given the negative things from that background to identify with. The loneliness I keep in my pocket next to my... Identity is important because it's something to show what you are. And even though, like your family, if you're a quarter or half of what your family is, you still got a bit which is just you. It's your way of living, your way of doing things. I'm from Bosnia. My father fought in the Yugoslavian war. The good thing about this was it helped people tell what happened to them in life. The teachers didn't even pressure you to tell stuff or do stuff that was what they thought that was right. But they let us choose what we wanted to think. In three, two, one, remember we're picking up every month. Like when we did the poem inside, like you could like tell your friends like and then like then it just comes it's not no gossip, it's just like everyone knows and that's it. My mum and dad fight like lions on safari. Right now, I watch my them dad lives inside. Whenever I open my eyes and lay awake on the pillow, I feel when sad for your friends. Just my mother, to be honest, my anger and me. In a week like this, they have an opportunity to work with everyone else in the class. And it's not okay to just have the same friendship groups. You have to be you know, communicating with everyone. And so then you have to learn more about the people that you're with. Like when we were doing filmmaking today, we got to be with people that we didn't talk to the most. And we got to learn more about how they um, react to things and what their personality is like. What we hope that we are able to bring in these short sessions is to show each and every one of them that they have something that is valuable and unique and that currency can never be taken away. Whatever they bring to the table is absolutely essential for the ongoing wealth of that community. This week has had a massive impact on our Year 7 pupils. We learnt about our identity in a more fun way because we could understand each other and also we explored our identity through emotions and dance and loads of other things where as school we'd just be writing down what we think our identity is about. 
I think the way that the school and creative partnerships have worked together is really interesting because they're two extremely different organisations. Our expertise is working with the young people in terms of a more traditional classroom based way and their agenda is to bring this abundance of creativity into schools taking them off site and taking them on visits and, and working in school has enabled them to find their own identity within the academy and feel really special because they're the only year with a dream school. The way that most students embraced the idea of creativity and the idea of exploring themselves was fantastic. They were a lot more open, I think, than perhaps we or I was expecting them to be, perhaps even more open than I was hoping that they could be. It's a lot more sort of trust of people in your class. So whereas at the beginning they might have been sort of teasing or hassling or looking for a way of chipping away at someone's confidence. By the end of it they felt like they'd created things together. So they had more of a community spirit going on, which I thought probably this week had done, you know, the, the world of good. All the young people are buzzing and excited, saying it's been the best week of their school. And I think that our challenge as an academy now is to take that forward uh, throughout the year with Year 7 and build on what we've done with creative partnerships. We've learnt an awful lot this week, so it's unpicking that with all the young people, with the learning advisors, with creative partnerships to see how we can really push Year 7 on now and really build on what I believe has been a really fantastic event. One big round of